Warning, some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. What would you say to the perpetrators? <sighs> I can't swear now. You can. She's a lesbian attacked for being an African by a man wanting to turn her straight. He's going to kill me. We are always targeted. It's going to show me that I'm a woman. And he hit me and he hit me. They were raped. And men are always trying to show us that at the end of the day we're women. It broke my heart so bad, so bad that the justice has never done anything. Now the relationship that they had, so now they, they, they turn now to this new, I don't know if it's the new thing or what, of being a lesbian. If there's someone who is trying to rape those lesbians, okay. me, I can appreciate the thing, that is time. Because we just to let them know, they must be in a straight motion of way. They they literally do nothing to you. But yet you feel uncomfortable because of what other people are doing and you take it upon yourself to take their lives, to rape them. And so I really just want to know why. I am thinking of going to NAF. Even before the call came that we can start applying, I talked to her and I said, this is my idea. And I'm very proud that I, I went from an idea to a whole production. Nanzuka is a queer woman from Mtata. I am a writer, I am an actress. I'm a theatre maker, a theatre director, but I like to call myself a uh, creative, just so, you know, I don't box myself, yeah. Jigijela means to hurl stones. Jigijela is a play that is centred around these three lesbian women who live in a place called Section 9. Section 9 also represents the constitution and Section 9 is the place where they stay. So these three women lost their friend in a brutal hate crime because the friend is lesbian and they are all lesbian women. So they all as lesbian women lost their friend to a hate crime and they are now grappling with what to do after. I wanted to cast three women and I casted Sanele Phillips, Christelle Fuchane, Sune Yechens. I felt that they brought qualities that were really polarizing and also in the in-between. Sanele Phillips, who plays 320, is the most fiery person. KK, who's played by Christelle, who is, you know, very mellow, doesn't want, you know, anything bad to happen, you know, she's just, you know, chilled. Then we've got Sune, who plays Danny, who's, you know, very much in the middle. I wanted different parts, you know, of a triangle that keep everything balanced. So, I have... Three weeks, got three weeks until production. So by this week I need to be done so that when I get into production week, the play is complete. I think what I like about my character is just how angry the character is, given our subject of the production. Out of the three uh, characters, mine is the most angriest, and I think that's what is exciting for me, um, because this character is pushing for justice to be served. I was to my friend every day, then you come out all day, mm -hmm. and then we start this thing. Mm -hmm. Fine, no problem. Because Shani, your audience see your man. Mm -hmm. She has this hope and sometimes we lose it and here 
it's a thing of shit happens, but we're always going to be there for one another. So, yeah. I remember this one day that Lindy and I both had. We were going to be on TV. <laughs> we were going to be stars. She was going to be on Generations and I was going to be on Benelanders. Um, what I like about UKK is that they seem as a they, they come across as a person who is very calm about everything. Six years ago, Ulindi taught me how to play pool, and over a game, we would talk about anything and everything. Yeah. Which I like because it also allows them to tap into a different layer of themselves which is not very easily seen on the outside because of how they look or how they speak or how they move. So I like the fact that in that outward appearance there's a whole lot of, I don't know, depth as well to the character inside. As, as I'm developing as a director, I've I've grown a passion for social justice and I wanted to tell a story because I can't really tell a story that's outside of myself. So in a way I used my queerness to create a link to other people who are like me who have gone through um, really bad experiences for just being themselves. So. Yeah, I don't really like to say that, you know, I felt suitable, oh, yes, yes. but I really um, felt drawn and called to this because of my passion for um, social justice. I'm actually not feeling nervous um, for the showing with Akona and Julia. Um, I'm actually quite excited just to see the crit that they have and their thoughts, you know, on the piece as a whole. The dad couldn't even say I blamed myself. I remember running and her killers laughed. I blamed myself and her killers laughed. We need to see the build up of what this person is saying and how it's affecting you because it's quite mm, disgusting. Mm. Yeah, but so by the time you are hitting this person, I think you, you kill, oh yeah, you kill this person. Mm. We don't know why. The biggest takeaway is probably the main thread of the play, which is um, how in our communities homosexuality is still something that is a taboo. As a result, we've seen a lot of people being killed because of their sexual orientation. So I need to know that you know the world, mm. not me trying to figure out mm. who you are. Mm. You know? So Think about the story of this of this place that you're in, this section you mind section of the section. Think about this place, how does it smell like? How does it how does it it takes to your tea? Is it is it dull? How does that affect you? My name is Julia de Rosenworth and I'm a lecturer here at the drama department. Kanya's work is very um, the way things move together and are layered is quite um, wonderful as, as it is already. So there wasn't necessarily a sense of choreographing new, but a, about kind of um, just clarifying, a kind of polishing up, extending things to make them um, more full and more meaningful. Because we want to see actually that this is body. Mm. We need to understand that slowly, otherwise it doesn't um, and this is a body throughout almost. So for me, I think after this rehearsal, it's starting to feel more in the body. I am walking into this space as U320 and I know what 320 story is in my body and I can feel it and I can, I feel like I'm in a position where I can do the piece without saying the words because my body feels and knows the piece. Um, yes, I am feeling the pressure considering time because, you know, there are a lot of admin things that need to be done for the National Arts Festival. We have to put up posters, we have to tech. Okay, there's a fan that can still come. Um, I'm not sure about the smart machine yet. What else is there? Come guys, costumes. What, bring, bring, bring. I'm not leaving with half a load. So everything is there now. Yeah, well, yes. 
sticks, ne? Yeah, baby. Sticks, I, I put in six because... Oh, but notorious human beings. <laughs> Right, from here we are heading to the drill hall where we will be performing. So all our set is on the back here, all the costumes, so that's where we're heading now to set up, get ready. Exciting stuff. <laughs> In making Chikijela, I didn't want to tell my story because it wasn't about me. Yes, my queerness was a starting point, but it also, in a way, it kind of ended there because I wanted to tell stories of lesbian women who had gone through horrific, more horrific things than, than I have gone through. Okay, right, guys, can we go and uh Position for the murder. I'm excited to be opening doors. I hope with the work that I've created that there is a moment for you to release, for you to find a piece of yourself in one of those characters, for you to relate to the anger that these lesbian women feel because of what has happened to them. on a roll today, energies are high. This is something that hasn't happened in over, what, two years? Yeah, it's gonna be a good day. I'm trusting that when people leave here, they're gonna leave with something. Just excited to get on there, do, do our thing. change but yeah Love. yeah thank you <laughs> weird because it's the first run it's done first performance it went really really well we're so excited for the four days that we have left now one down four more to go Jiggy Jella for NAF 2022 <laughs> One thing I want to say to the perpetrators, you're wrong. Stop with the entitlement. We're all human beings. People are allowed to be who they are. What had that person done to you? Imagine that you had a child who was queer and they experienced the same thing. 